Weirdest animal mating rituals. How do giraffes mate? The male signals his readiness to mate by tapping on the female's hind leg with his foreleg or resting his chin on her back. He usually follows her, sometimes for hours, until she allows him to mount her. When a male giraffe finds a female giraffe in estrus, he nudges her rear end with his nose to encourage her to urinate. The male tastes the urine, checking for signals that she's ready to mate. If things look promising, he follows the female around until she stands still, indicating that the time is right. Occasionally, the male might be anxious and try too soon, but the female just walks away until she's made a positive decision. Sometimes this goes on for hours or even days, and occasionally nothing happens until another, more desirable male appears. She may go up to a new arrival and rub her neck on his, indicating her preference. Often a female giraffe chooses the most dominant giraffe available as a partner, possibly helping strengthening the genes passed to her young. How do porcupine mate? When the female is ready to mate, she'll present her hindquarters and curve her tail over her back so that her quills don't impale the male. She'll also lay the rest of her quills flat against her body, allowing the male to mount her briefly with little danger. Porcupines mating in the wild is a rare image to capture, and these cameras in the field provide amazing opportunities to the scientists and all of us to observe the animals and learn about their secret life in their natural environment. How Banana Slugs Mate In the mating of banana slugs, the penis is inserted into the body of the partner. The penis may become trapped, perhaps because of the action of a special muscle, in which case the penis is gnawed off by either the partner or the owner. No replacement penis grows, but the apopulated slug can mate as a female. Slug mating is surely one of the most interesting aspects of their life story. Slugs are hermaphrodites, both sexes and the same animal. They can mate with themselves, but apparently prefer to find another slug, assuring genetic mixing. When two slugs meet, they spend a surprisingly long time in what would only be called courtship behavior, twining around each other and nipping at each other's body. After this act is completed, the slugs appear to have great difficulty withdrawing the organ, and they writhe around as they try to pull apart. If they're unable to do so, one or both will finally start chewing and bite off the organ of the other slug. This behavior is called a population and seems unique to slugs. Chimpanzee mating Chimpanzees are polyandrous in nature. This means that each chimpanzee has multiple sexual partners. They engage in sex more often as it serves more than one purpose. They reproduce through sexual intercourse and they use it as a way of bonding as well. Sound familiar? Remember, their DNA is 98% identical to ours. Unlike gorillas, the dominant chimp doesn't have sole mating rights over females in the group. Female chimps can mate with several male members of the group. Unlike in gorilla groups, female chimpanzees may form a strong bond with a particular male who is not considered among the most dominant in the community. Wild Rabbits Mating Wild rabbits are capable of reproducing year-round and have a high reproductive rate. The mating process begins with the male rabbit or buck pursuing the female or doe. If the female is receptive, they'll mate. The process typically lasts less than a minute. After mating, the doe will build a nest to raise her young. Wild rabbits do not have a specific mating season, and they're capable of reproducing year-round. However, their reproductive rate is influenced by food availability and weather conditions. In areas with favorable conditions, wild rabbits may have several litters each year, increasing the chances of survival for their offspring.